Chancellor, Principal, members of the university, honoured guests, fellow graduates, family, friends, ladies and gentlemen. First, I want to express my sincere gratitude to the University of Stirling and to Professor Lee Sparks, the Deputy Principal and Professor of Retail Studies. Lee, thank you so much for those very kind words. It's very much appreciated. I can't begin to tell you how astonished and delighted I was to receive the letter from the Principal and Vice-Chancellor, Jerry McCormack, in March of this year, informing me of the university's decision to confer this honour on me. It is with very heartfelt privilege and albeit humbling to, receive, to be receiving this honorary doctorate. The university has received and achieved international recognition and status for academic excellence. And this award shows that people from all backgrounds can have their contribution recognized and celebrated at the very highest level. This is an honor and recognition for my family and for my colleagues with whom I have worked and who have supported me over the past 31 years. I was born in Wolverhampton, as Lee said, but most of my early life in Kent before moving to Stirling and Bridge of Allen 31 years ago. In fact, coming here today would have been a short walk from my house had it not been for the two ladies in my life who decided they wanted to take the vehicle because of high heels. <laughs> and yet, when my son dropped me off, it would have been better if we had left the car at home and actually walked. I've had a supportive relationship with the university for many years and have seen it to grow to a center of international excellence. Personally, I always dreamt of attending university to study economics, but circumstances prevented from me doing so. So this honor is a very special one to me, so thank you. I'm sure that you've already been told, and probably several times today, that learning is a lifelong experience. You carry the university as you leave, only now you will have to be your own instructors. Remembering the moments from my own children's feelings correctly after their final exams, they felt an enormous amount of relief and an unquenchable desire to party and celebrate. And I imagine most of you are feeling the same way today, so I won't keep you very long and make sure that I keep my speech to only about 25 pages. <laughs> and as you've heard from Professor Lee Sparks, I've been involved in retail for over 30 years. Business is a great arena to prove potential in creativity, courage, integrity, respect, but above all, purposefulness, which makes a difference in every aspect of life. Purposefulness fuels motivation, commitment, and resolve. Reviewing why you do it, what you do, and how you do it. It will remind you of where you are and where you are going. But our greatest treasure is self-respect. Yet too often, it remains buried deep within us. Rediscovering this treasure involving serving yourself first. Now that doesn't mean taking first, it means putting yourself first. It doesn't matter on the choice of your career, but there is one piece of advice that I can give you, then it's this. Optimism stimulates enthusiasm and positivity, allowing opportunities to appear, optimism and innovation go hand in hand. The key is to look at value, learn from bad outcomes, and apply it to future expectations. Success blends hard-won hard -won experience with an optimistic look. I'm sure that you've heard of the proverbs, look before you leave, and whoever hesitates is lost. But both provide wise guidance. Yet life 
It is about taking risks, whether you're crossing the street or borrowing for a new venture. And any new venture offers excitement, riches, status, and success. Freedom belongs to those who make a decision to break boundaries. Because to get something you never had, you must do something you never did. And what I have learned is that society needs true leaders and that value instinct and intuition, as well as analysis, self-discipline, hard work, rationality. Those that can be tough, yet tender, yet friendly, and yet lead their organizations in the right direction. Often in life, the harder we push, the further away what we want moves. But the real hurdle is having a clear vision of what you want to do. When you know that, it will gravitate towards you. To make a difference, don't ever take anything or anyone for granted. Leverage your luck, strength, talent, and skills. You have the world at your feet in whichever career you choose. I want to congratulate the graduates and their families, all of those receiving their degrees, have actually achieved something quite profound. What you have achieved today, endured and accomplished is of major significance. Completing your degree is not an end to something, but it's a new beginning, a beginning of a new chapter. In the same way this doctorate recognizes my past contribution, it also initiates a new stage in my life. The university is not just a place of academic learning and exams, but lifelong experiences, self-esteem, empathy, and confidence, which have all been achieved today. For that reason, I urge all of those who have graduated today to stay in touch with your colleagues, your tutors, and the university. It's been a great honor for me to achieve, receive this doctorate today from a university with such a distinguished past and which I'm sure will have an equally great future. Thank you very so much.